What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So, to round off where we left off, we have been intercepted. Um, in, or well, north of Baghdad. These two Persian forces have intercepted us. However, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. This might be a good opportunity to break the back of the most of some of the more powerful forces to the north of Baghdad. So without further ado, let's crack on. First army is slightly depleted, and the second army is a bit more of a serious venture. Um, but I still think we've got a pretty good shot when things get a bit spicy. And this is quite a nice battlefield. So let's deploy our artillery to the rear. Let's form a battle line. Quite a wide battle line. So my intention with forming a wide battle line is that we can envelop their front line and get around the flanks. So I've not deployed Israelis because I didn't really think it was worth doing that. Well, not Israelis, Semenes. Probably want to deploy them on the right flank because that's where they're weakest. The reinforcements coming in from the back or from behind their army, so we're probably going to want to push up to give their current army something to think about. So let's give my artillery some proper targets. Sure, the right hand gun team makes sense for they them to shoot at a target going to the, the right, and then vice versa. You can actually shoot at the pikemen up on the hill. Push those guys up. These guys take position in the town. They've spied what we're doing. Don't want to move my camels up above the hill. Might want to have some bashy bazooks ready up here to support the pikemen. Might even put another unit of in up here. Pull this unit of Felaine back and run our bashy bazooks up ahead of them. Excellent artillery shots going in. Hit them with the Bashi Bazooks and let's take this artillery team engaging in the centre where we are firing like men possessed. And this is pretty good actually because then we can spread our line out like so. But our Seminis aren't doing anything. Get them up here just to form a line of some description. A lot of running. Camel nomads are getting the short end of the stick. Let's run this fellow in unit up here, ready to attack the nomads. Massive retreat. Big cavalry block on the flank, backed up with dervishes. These guys can get a volley off, which they will, at point blank range. So their subpar musketry is actually going to be pretty fairly good. If they ever turn around. Massive retreat. Ah, oh, they never actually—they've not gone into position to shoot their muskets. 
Go on, lads. Go on, Feline. Just, just clip one. Not really done a good job manoeuvring my camels, but I suppose it's mainly because we haven't needed to so much. Just fire our guns into the centre wildly. Camel nomads are winning slightly, temporarily. The Bashis will have their way with them. They saw my camels coming in. Should get my artillery to now start to snipe their cavalry, their artillery. Okay, here come the Mandari Pikes. Halt my camels, move up my bashi bazooks. You guys get into position quickly. I fell in, I've stopped attacking. Coming into the rear. They're going to cut through the Seminis very easily. And my bashis are probably enough to keep them in position. Move our musketeers down the hill. So I want to get my camels out to attack that unit there. Shouldn't we have turned the guard mode on my feline? Because then now they're not chasing after units like I would like them to. So we've killed their general. Keep pushing forward. Your feline, you fill the gap. You fill the gap. Sadly, we're not getting as many kills as we'd like. You guys fire it all off. Actually, Bazooks can reform the line. The Seminese can just form a proper line against, well, proper, quote unquote, against the pikemen. You guys fire it all on again to engage the dervishes. Target the guns again against the units that are reform on the top of the hill. Damn right you want to wave and retreat. So let's push. Push out the line. You guys fill the gaps and make sure we're backing you up because the camels are charging. Although it looks like the camels are running. One set of guns hit this bowman unit and one set of guns hit the other. Of the melee infantry in case they decide to come back. Retarget the guns. I mean, I should really let my cannons go, my camels go wild. I was more focused on winning. Speed up time. The pike's coming back. No, they aren't. All this artillery that's left over. 
is going to have a very torrid time. Who's that coming over the hill? Unit dervishes. Yeah, more troops. Let's go after their artillery first and foremost. I can't retarget my artillery. They're now so far out of range. Yeah, what to give the guns, really? Speed up time a little bit. You go off the dervishes, you guys hold the fire. Okay, let's push these guys up, like so. Turn the fireball back on. Probably see where you guys. Yeah, they're all, we're really close to the edge of the map here, so. There's no rush. Push the artillery a bit further down the hill. Good, they are still coming. There, there she's a confident for now. Still steady. I'm still confident in hitting off Aline Musketeers, so let's get my melee troops in, although it looks like they're not gonna really be a problem. Shot in the back a hell of a lot while they flee. Okay, let's pull my general back. You guys fire well into the flank of that fellain musketeer unit. Artillery's going to be done any day now. Oh, the smoke wreathed ridge continues to claim the enemy. You guys haven't really got a good shot on them. Bring the camels back. Charge up unit Feline because it looks like a Israeli unit might attempt, might attempt to flank and push. Unnimble my guns, should be a bit more within range now. Go on, lads. That's the first order as well. Probably after we've, second, after we've destroyed the first order previous engagements. Are you guys able to fire anything now? Yes, the rest of their forces are in range. Charge the Felaine in, and the Felaine Musketeers in. Focus the guns onto the Desert Warriors, because they're actually pretty good shots. Charge these folks to the top of the ridge. Make sure these guys continue to chase down the Felaine. Especially as they look like. Clustering all of their troops at the crest of the hill. As the artillery pounds in.
Go, go, gadget camels. These guys are going to get lots of shots on route on routing infantry. So you know, it's the that made it to the battle line. And they are going to suffer. Let's hold fire with the artillery. Absolutely continue. Let's speed up time. Chase after this unit of water. Oh, they're going to escape off this side. Sneaky devils. Close victory. That was nowhere near close. That was a land. I'll have you know. Look at that. Granted, we didn't kill as many of them as we'd like. But damn. They've got 2,000 units. 2,000 infantry. Musketeers. Some of them are gaining experience. What about my artillery? Yeah, one of them has gained experience. But they're now depleted. So let's, let's upgrade you to a... We don't really need a madrasa around this part of the world. To a craft weavers with you. Let's cross over. Prepare the workshop. Do a bit of a punishment on you guys. So we got government by consent. That's going to be the sort of thing that really annoys Anatolia. Good. So they actually like Feline Musketeer unit as a garrison troop. Let's get you guys off of this instead on to... Because they don't have a Grand Admiralty. Yeah, I've still not built one. I need to start reversing that. But don't go for utilitarianism. Instead, go for... Measuring tools I quite like. Solid wealth enabler for my entire economy, and I can build better roads, which is what I'll need to transit troops and supplies around the country. Good, so do we get access to more trade points? We do, but whether or not... Well, actually, that might not be true. Still, if you guys try anything, these guys have both been repelled, they're heavily depleted. You're fresh, but those units are chaff, so I'm not bothered. Unless they're chaff, I just mean I don't not bothered by them. You know, like separate the beat from the chaff, that whole thing. Awesome. Your agent has been detected while Ah, oh, my agent in, in Turkey's been spotted and killed. Austria and France are now at war. Ah, yes, and the raids in Erbil. When we destroy their power around Baghdad, we will drive east to Esfahan. One army will go north to Azerbaijan. And we will continue to grow our strength. Tactically, I think it's good now to start building a Grand Admiralty um, so I can at least start to research some naval techs. Ooh, do I want to intercept? Absolutely I do. Cut that up. It won't be long. It will not be long till we have fire by rank. And then we'll go on to the European Infantry Doctrine, where we will research loads of cool units. Although I still want to recruit lots of melee. Radio. Oh my god, yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. So... That's the forward point. So deploy the guns as normal. Let's deploy three units plus two bashies to cover the bridge. They never usually go for the bridge. That'll probably be enough. Now we're on this flank. Absolute death box. Semenes can be a bit of a firefighting force. So you need another unit of camels. You go over there. 
So everyone deployed into armies. Oh, the general. Probably would have been technically smarter to put Israelis here, considering they are capable of forming square and such. But to be honest, I don't really care about square now. I've got melee infantry. Especially if the idea is we just want to, just want to make sure no one can surprise us. Might get my camels over on this flank as well, actually. This is where they're all coming from. I may even do this. So my cannons have a cleaner shot into the centre. In fact, I might even redeploy them now quickly. To be angled slightly more towards the river crossing. Even though we might actually... There we go. Everyone make ready. Trying to make it into combat. Yeah, they are going to make it. Go, go, Gadget Feline. There's you know, two camel nomads. Let's get the cut. Let's get the artillery just to complete, constantly focus on the riverbed itself. We've shot those two camels down. No one is going for that flank, so let's bring my bashies over. Just spread you guys out, out a little bit more to get more guns into the mix. Engage this unit specifically with my artillery. Oh, this is the cannonballs are flying into the into the river. The bowmen are, un are unhappy about advancing to the face of enemy fire, but they will continue their drive. You guys might actually focus on the dervishes to the rear. This could well be a similar battle where we don't get as many kills as we'd like, but we managed to get a whole lot of. a good amount of damage done. Yes, I. for some reason it completely escaped my. well, I didn't realise it could be, it would be a river battle. The bows are routing, the dervishes are routing, the pikes are routing, so you, artillery folks, on this next unit of bowmen marching up. Maybe the Feline musketeers, because they're on the flank. The pikes aren't really concerned, there's only 96 of them. They're already starting to fall. The dervishes are back. They're all back. We've got a lot of kills on the fella in there. I get keep my general over here as well. Go for the bowman with my artillery. Said, dervishes are going to get into combat, but this is why we have Felayim, who will be ready. Yeah, that's all you want, just enough to push them back. Let the musketeer units get their kills.
Perfect. These guys doing a little shuffle. One artillery. Miss, miss, miss. Bouncing shot. Got some kills. Yep. They've routed. Let's go after the next bowman unit. See, they are doing. Because we're not getting enough kills, we're doing a lot of morale damage, but we're not getting enough kills. They are actually able to reform and rejoin the battle. Because my troops aren't that great. I'm getting like the odd kill. Artillery's missed. Good shots. Good shots coming in. Let's make the Feline Musketeers route. Yeah, that's upset them all. They're all routing. Let's speed up time a little bit. As they run in, get slaughtered, and fall back. Go on, artillery. Yes, good hits. Excellent hits. As they try again. See, if we had 5 hour ankle quick line, think of the damage we could be doing. A good one, just a couple down here, a couple over here. Yep, none of them are having it. But this Valine, they've only lost 24 men, so they're probably going to come back. Desert Warriors only lost 20. So we aren't getting those as devastating kills. We could just charge across with melee infantry, but to be honest, I quite like this idea of loss, you know, high value. Not even that looks way too good of an opportunity to miss out, to pass out. Let's commit our melee infantry. Not necessarily our general yet, but... Come on, camel nomads. I want my melee infantry to halt, though, because I want my camels to make the charge. Halt fire at will. Let's try and kill the levy. Charge on the desert warriors and just set these guys to move on. Charge my general in. Nomads charge into there. These guys at the back are going to successfully route. No, don't charge yet. Let's go for the Desert Warriors. Absolutely continue. Stop. I don't want my melee infantry involved, I don't want them getting killed. And these guys charge around doing stuff. 